Hey everybody, this is Jirikos, and welcome back to Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. Last time we entered the Temple of Rain, we found an Alabrije, which is a humongous monster, and we met Extavai, who is, um, friendly, but also not friendly. And now we're going to continue exploring, and I just gotta take a moment to marvel at this picture on the back of the wall here, which is just downright creepy. I really hope we don't have to fight that Alabrije. But, let's move onward and... Oh, that's not a good sign. Something big is moving. And what could it be but... The Alabrije. It's busted loose. Yep, it is out of here. So, well, we're not getting back up there. But, if we move on, we see our second of these big chickens. Hey man, if you get lazy while up on the wall, push into it to cling on tight. Good to know. You can also hold triangle to hold yourself in place and not slide down. Go and little dimension hopping to get between those different walls. And we've come full circle on this side. So now what I specifically want to do is I'm going to buy that chicken costume since we finally can afford it. Now, you'll notice it has special abilities. Your health regenerates over time, but the stamina regenerates more slowly. So, better for health, worse for stamina. I am not going to be using the chicken costume for any actual, like, standard gameplay and fighting, because it's kind of an easy mode. And, whoop, okay, not what I wanted to do. Oh, that works. Hop on down. So, we come back here, though, and we're going to talk to this chicken as a chicken. And he says the exact same thing. In the original game, he does say something different if you're wearing the chicken costume. But I still want to, you know, go through and do it for all four of the chickens. So, change back to our previous outfit. There we go. Standard one. And now, we're going to head over here because there's a separate area that we need to go through. You guys, get out of my way. All right, quit rolling. Now specifically, if you roll through their attacks, you can almost assuredly combo them after that with a full three hit combo. So nice and convenient when it comes to that. And ooh boy, several of these guys. Luckily, we take the red guy out, and then these guys should be no problem. Yeah, they were tricky in the original game, but the fact that you can now roll through their attacks means they're not that bad. Alright, good, you guys. You guys are not tough. Just take them one at a time. Or, you know, if you get lucky, hit them all in a group, but... These guys are so weak that they don't really amount to a ton. There we go. That should be it for this arena. Perfect. And another chunk of stamina. This is our third one. And for completing that, we get a third stamina tick. And the trophy endurance. Very nice. Now we head to the left. And this is one of my favorite arenas. It's such a neat trick. You've got a ton of red zombies throwing bones at you, and you cannot hit them, because, you know, they're on the other side of walls. But keep switching up, and they'll fall in the lava. I love it. It's such a great trick. And, woo, we've hit the jackpot! Let's break all these open and get enemies. Yeah, they're not all hearts. Did you actually think they would be? That would be a little too overpowered. In fact, most of them aren't, but that one is. So yeah, the fourth one is a heart, the rest are just enemies, but still want to bust them open to get some money. And hey, I just see now we are over 3,000 pesos, so we definitely need to buy that upgrade on the next altar we come to. Head on up. Ooh, arena time. Go, yeah, take these guys out, not too big a deal. Oh. I did not mean to switch! <laughs> Apparently, the suplex is 
just it, it goes just high enough to switch between the worlds and hit that portal. That is actually kind of funny. I've never done that before. Let's try it. Ah, it wasn't close enough. Let's bring you closer. I want to see if I can trigger it again. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, well, you're almost dead, so never mind. And a big skeleton. These guys can be tough. They're not too bad. Just wail on them. They have two different attacks. That basic slam attack and one where they repeatedly slam the ground. You just want to be careful not to get hit by it. They are dodgeable. You can roll through them, so they're not a big deal. Go. Yes, kick him into you. I love the ability to knock enemies into other enemies. The grappling. It's so much fun. Another arena down, and hello! Another Chuzo statue! What do we get this time? Besides, you know, an angry goat again. Dude, seriously. Stop breaking my stuff. Seriously. Whatever. Time to teach you the Olmex headbutt. It's easy cheesy. Press circle while standing still to send those Esqueletos sky high. We get the Omex Headbutt! Very useful ability, both in exploration and combat. Now, get going before I find your mother. So, you may have noticed the way that this game's special abilities play out are kind of like Smash Brothers moves, how you've got the special attack button, and depending what direction you're pressing, it'll do different moves. We just have to find and earn the remaining ones. So, let's bust this open, and we get the trophy. Thick-headed for breaking open the first yellow brick. And now, before I forget, I want to stop here and... Stun boost. Definitely want that. And I'm going to hold off on buying anything else, because there's some other stuff I want to buy at a certain point, and I want to save up my money for it. So, now we progress on through. This is a cool little section. Roll through, hit the portal, and uppercut back up. And it brings us back around here. So once again, we've gone full circle. Now, we can go through and head up, but we don't want to yet. We want to drop down and remember this spot here? Bust open the yellow brick to get, ooh, a silver chest. Inside, 10 silver coins. Very useful. There are not many of those silver chests in the game, so you want to grab them to get every bit you can for those costumes. Now, though, we can wall jump on up. So as you can see, we needed wall jump and headbutt to progress through. So it forced you to do those two sides, but we've got a challenge room first. This is not too bad. Really just, it's all about making sure you jump at the right point. Let this one drop down a bit and there we go. And it's nice that they make it, you know, so it's real simple and easy to get out. You don't have to do some crazy challenge if you proved your way going one way through. And here we've got another path up, but we don't want to do that yet. Once again, head to the right. And hey, it's an Olmec head. So you can teleport around. It shows you a nice big world map there, but we don't want to leave the temple yet. Don't worry, we'll come back to him later. For now, let's head on up and, oh, almost got hit there. Oh, why? Ah, that's one downside. I sometimes get a little ahead of myself, and you cannot grab while you're ducking. So if I try to grab and then throw them downward but press the buttons too quickly, it can mess it up a little. And I will say, the pile driver is easily my favorite grapple. It does a lot of damage, it keeps them in place, you can keep comboing them, and here, as you can see, it uproots enemies. It's a nice little bonus. And, oh, I ran right off the edge. Just kind of an inverse of what we did last time. Just drop below. Oh, and then uppercut to get back up. Simple and fun. Now let's climb on up with a little bit of dimension swapping. And, huh, well, we see a heart chest there. And, well, it didn't actually put it on our map. Did we get closer? No, because it shows the red block blocking our path. But we'll find a way to get to that eventually. Here's kind of a slightly harder version of the 
wall jumping dimension swapping we did before. And there you go. Easy enough to get through. You guys. You know what? Aha! I love throwing enemies into others. It's seriously, it's... The combat in this game is surprisingly robust. There we go. Now, bust open this and... Walk right into vines. Roll through the vines and we come to... That spot we saw earlier. For another full heart. Nice that it extended our life a little bit. That's very helpful. Believe me, you're gonna need it as this game goes on. Luchador. You haven't seen an Alabrihe around here, have you? He's large, multicolored, looks like a fish mixed with a cat snake. He's about the size of a house? Rah, are you hiding him, Luchador? Every second I look is one more second Kalaka spends alone with that sacrificial trout. Rah! Hmph. <laughs> Sorry. You had to see that, Luchador. Now, I have to go find that stupid Alabrihe. Next time we meet, maybe we can truly tango. And we get another arena for our trouble. Thanks so much, Extabai. That That's so kind of you. All right, come here. Let me kill you. Boom, I love doing that. The great thing is, because of the way that enemies fly with the different moves, you can combo in a ton of moves if you know how to do them just right. Another hit, perfect, and ooh, big skeleton! No problem. Now you see here I did a uh, Olmex headbutt into a rooster uppercut. You can chain those together, but you cannot use a single move multiple times without touching the ground. So, like, you see how he's flashing there? It's because I try to use the Olmec's headbutt twice in the air. You have to set foot on the ground first. So, it's kind of a limiting measure, so you can't just keep uppercutting over and over again to reach real high points. That'd be a little cheap. But now we'll head onward and keep breaking through bricks. Now this is kind of cool. If you try to jump through the portal, it doesn't let you. You have to hop over it. A nifty little trick. Now, big guy, you get out of my way. I love comboing these guys in midair. They still haven't done their big smash attack move. Well, we'll see that in time. But for beating this guy, we get Giant Killer it's for defeating the third giant skeleton you come across. <laughs> Don't worry, there's not only three. You'll see lots more of them as the game goes on. Take this guy out. Throw you to the left because I don't want to hit that portal and then be unable to hurt you. Perfect. Now, some uppercutting. Perfect. And there we go. I love these wall carvings, I guess is the right word, of the Alabrihe's face. They're kind of cool looking. Whoops, did not mean to jump down. And, nope, don't want to buy anything yet. But hey, we made it up top. And there's an altar. Oh, that better not be El Presidente's daughter. Juan, it looks like Kalaka carried out a ceremony here, but you've missed it. I wonder where they've gone. Maybe you should head back to Santa Lucita to look for clues. Wait, what was that? I have a bad feeling about this. Quick, get out of here! Oh, sure, it's not that big a deal. I mean, what's the worst though? Okay, yeah, Alabrihe is coming after us and man, he looks mad. This is just a platforming segment. You gotta keep going. And you have to wait for him to actually destroy certain blocks to progress. Thankfully, when he kills enemies, you get the rewards. It's kind of a nice touch. Break through these bricks. Keep going. Switch it up here. And wait for him to come along as he kills all the enemies in his path. Jump up. Ooh, it's cutting it real close. 
but we're almost there. Okay. Break open the spot below me. Perfect. And... I love the throwback to the original Mario Brothers with the axe and dumping him in lava. It's great! And you get the trophy! That's one big Gato Frito! Sorry, Luchador, but your princess is in another castle. And another wonderful throwback! It's great! Another castle with my boyfriend, Kalaka! Grr! Ever since El Presidente's daughter has entered the picture, my relationship with Kalaga has been ruined. And now you've gone and killed his pet Alabrije! The Alabrije I was taking care of! Ooh. Proof that beauty is not everything. That is one scary woman there. I would kill you where you stand, Luchador, but I have a trout to catch and a man to win over. Oh boy, do not make her mad. That is what we've learned from this. Anyway, now that we've taken out the Alabrije, we can head on down here. And it deposits us next to a heart piece. You also earn the trophy Nooks and Crannies if you've been following along as I've been doing, which if you look at the world map, you see our symbol here is gold. That means we found every single chest in this area. So if you look at our individual map in the top right corner, it says 100% for this area. And 12% for the whole game, but pretty neat. Now we just need to get out of here. Yeah, the two chests that are the easiest to miss here are easily that one where after you get the headbutt, you go back one room to open it up, and that one before you even enter the temple. Those are easy to miss. Oi, I see you eyeballing me. You must think I'm... It's pretty sweet that you found a second old mech head. I can get you back to town faster than you can blink. Believe it. Yes, we want to take a trip. And so, we can teleport to Santa Lucita. You got it, hombre. No liquids over three ounces. And we fly! Well, we teleport. And you get the trophy. Whee! Pretty nice. Now that we're back in Santa Lucita, the very first thing we want to do, I think, is pay a visit to Combo Chicken, since we have the Olmex headbutt now. He's probably waiting for us with some new challenges. And once again, I missed the jump. I forget that you can't quite make that without an uppercut. He does indeed have new challenges. Let's continue our training with combos involving the headbutt. Perfect. Come back, Poncho. Let me beat up on you some more. There we go. These, again, are still pretty easy. We're not into the really hard ones yet. Those will come, I say, as I miss the hit. These, it's best to be right on top of him. And you want to hit the circle moves really soon after finishing the combo. Otherwise, it can go too far. Ah, darn it. You know what? Let's get you closer to the wall. Stay on the wall. Let's see if I can do it this way. Nope, that screwed it up. Okay. The way it was meant to be. There we go. I just kind of got ahead of myself on that one. You've just served up an order of pain con carnage. And some more money. Very nice. Nope, no more to teach us right now. So, now if we look at the map, it gives us an idea of where we need to go. Oh, looks like Hernando's bar might be open. In fact, it is. And there was a chicken in there. You know what? Fly, chicken. <laughs> Let's see. Um, you know what? No, I don't want to head into Hernando's bar yet. I think this is the perfect opportunity to switch it up and do the first Caverna del Pollo challenge. But... I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna be flame face. This one is, he, stamina regenerates slowly and melee attacks still life. It's a little bit like the chicken costume, but it forces you to play aggressively to restore your health. And it's just, it's fun playing as him. Plus there's a specific trophy we wanna get with this costume. 
Now, I didn't mention before, but the costumes for Flameface, Extabai, Javier, and Uechivo are part of a DLC pack specifically for PS4, Xbox One, and the Turbo Championship Steam Edition. And hey, got another Olmec head. You can't get it on the Turbo Championship on 360. But they have some extra achievements and trophies tied in. So let's beat these guys up. And I do love, like, the characters, they have special abilities or, like, slightly different traits, such as melee attacks steal life, he gains more money, stuff like that. But the way the characters play is exactly the same. They'll look different, like his uppercut and his, like his Olmec's headbutt is smashing him from the side. But it still plays exactly the same, which I think is pretty cool. It just looks kind of different. Beat up these armadillos. How did that not hit you? I must not have been close enough. Now it's a point of note, I haven't actually mentioned this before. The Suplex, Pile Driver, and Das Boot, the Grapple Slam moves, in the original game, you had to actually buy those moves from the altar. And when you did that, you finally were able to use them. However, they took a stamina chunk each use, just like the uppercut and the headbutt. Oh, no, you know what I want to do? I want to beat up these Eloxes with only the headbutt. Okay, I'm out of stamina. Wait for it to regen. Now, come on, buddy. There we go. And for killing an Eloxus with only Olmec's headbutt, we get... Stop squirming. I love that trophy. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? Now, I didn't point out these are actually a different breed of armadillo. You'll notice they bounce instead of just rolling straight ahead, and they always bounce four times. And you can tell by their color, whether they're blue or green, which type of attack they're going to do. So, pretty helpful there. You know what? Kill you guys off first. Save the plants for in a moment. Uproot you, perfect. Good, and defeated. Move onward. Okay, yeah, you guys are pain, but good, one of you down. The Olmec's headbutt is actually reasonably good at killing off the yellow guys if you can time it right. Perfect. Nice thing about throws as well, while you are grappling with someone and actively throwing, you are invincible. So if you've got a ton of projectiles coming your way or an enemy about to hit you and you can grab an enemy, it's a great way to avoid taking damage. Cool, you're gone. Boom, okay. This guy should not be too bad. I was like, why did I not do the uppercut? Because I was out of stamina. There we go, finally! Shows off the other move. Which, the skeletons, as long as you don't stand directly in front of them, you attack them from behind, they're not really that dangerous. It's mostly just being aware of their moves and getting ready to move out of the way really quickly. Now we got a bunch of Aluxes, which don't really pose a threat. I mean, I gotta do something pretty crazy to change it up to make these guys threatening. Oh, and there it is! Giant Aluxus! Which pretty much are only found here. Uh, at least these types. Nice little, you know, special enemy just in this challenge. And you actually cannot throw the big ones. They are specifically, like, they don't ever get the prompt. There we go. Bust these guys open. Perfect! And for completing that, we get a piece of heart. And you hear a rumbling in the distance. 
So yeah, 10 challenge rooms. It's fun to go through. The flame face one did make it a little easier with the life stealing, but that challenge is not hard at all. Now I say, let's go check out the second challenge. It, there was actually a gate here before, you may have noticed, because we've cleared it, the gate has opened up and now we can not progress any further. Oh well, once again, it's blocked by a little bit of story progression. We'll come back and take care of that in time. Now head on up. And I say, let's go head into the bar. And you know what? I'm not going to change my costume back because, well, you'll see. Something fun's going to happen if I stay in this costume. Let's go into Hernando's. And we see the real flame face! Barkeep! Barkeep! How does anybody get a drink around here? You, boy, have you brought my tequila? What is this, some kind of joke? So yeah, even if you're wearing a costume, all dialect is exactly the same. They don't treat you any different if you're wearing a costume. Except your taunt there is matches his. That's great. Bah! Another Luchador looking to be burned like the awful huevos rancheros that pass for food around here. Bartender! Ah, this freaking headache. Prohibition sucked back the first time I was alive. I would have stayed dead if I knew this was all the present had to offer. You're supposed to be running away at this point. What do you want from me anyways? Well, if you must know, I was cursed by the devil to have my head eternally engulfed in flame. I thought burning people alive in my last life would curry his favor in death, but apparently he has a complex about being the one to dole out the suffering. Or at least had a complex until Kalaka terminated that turkey. Alas, there is no way for me to break my curse, but as in life, a little drink can always take the edge off your suffering. You see, there are no spirits in hell, but once the merging of the worlds is complete, oh, how the fire water will flow! -la 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 -la. Well, you've definitely been worth a laugh, Luchador, but you've wasted more than enough of my time. This hangover worsens with each passing moment, and I am not looking forward to baking in the desert all afternoon. You'll share a parting shot with me, won't you? Parting shot? <laughs> oh, come on! No more bullets? Bah! Fate has spared you, Luchador, but I assure you, the reckoning at hand will make you wish otherwise. Here, buy yourself a drink. You should relax in town. I promise there's nothing of interest going on in the desert. He gives us 21 coins. And it says to pursue him in the desert! But before we do that, we're going to continue farther in the bar next time. This is going to wrap it up. We've done a lot this time. We managed to kill an Alabrihe, and we're still pursuing Kalaka. Maybe Flameface knows what's going on with him. But that's going to have to wait until the next time. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to click like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel. And I will see you guys next time.